Hello, my friends. Uh, nice to see you all today. Finally, I have chance to make this lesson. I see that connection is good today, so I hope we will have this lesson finally about edging. I will show you my PDF file with information. Like I told you yesterday, I I'm using crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters and uh, Italian viscose in white color. So for this thread, I join it together three threads and. I can use um, these ho crochet hooks in size 1.75 millimeters, can be 1.9 or 2 millimeters, it's okay for such thread. And needle with big eye to hide a lot of tails in this tunique. And also, uh, first, at the first lesson, we have all these lessons in our YouTube channel, so you can find all this free crochet course in our YouTube channel, also information in our free crochet patterns group in Facebook, on Facebook. So this is our main element, Letia. It looks like flower in the middle and we have six uh, leaves at the sides. And uh, just you need to know how to make this one element. After step by step you will join second element to the first, third, a third element to the next, uh, to the first two motifs. And like this it's a, a very simple system how to make this uh, tunique. You don't need to make any connection seams, just during the last row you will join all these motifs. And now I will show you this free crochet patterns group and I will show you how to find this all information in our group. So let's look. I will show you my screen. So this is our free crochet uh, patterns group. And uh, it looks like this. We have here a flower, uh, very bright, and free crochet patterns by JT House Crochet School. So you need to find this group, uh, just join to our group and you will have all information, a lot of uh, almost 50 different elements and projects we have here for free. Just uh, Next you need to choose photos, after choose albums and that's all. You will see each album is about one motif, about one lace or about one project. Uh, we already finished to make this beautiful tablecloth, so this album is about this tablecloth. Uh, today uh, we have lesson number four about making tunique, so just press to this album and you will start to see all these photos and schemes. Uh, what you need? Uh, you need to download this scheme of main element and make at your home. You can use fantastic uh, transition of colors like Lynn did it or y Yolanda Matson and you will receive uh, just incredible result. I am using only one color, it's not so interesting, but it's white color, it's very nice for summer, for hot weather. And I am using this scheme. I am uh, joining 22 motifs in this moment and I have this design. But uh, after, now we will make beautiful edgings around neckline, armhole lines and around bottom line. And we will finish this tunique. It's a really nice project, just very easy to make it and it's really beautiful because I see it now live, uh, how it looks and I really like this design, like these elements. So I hope you will enjoy this all work. Also in this group you can take some inspiration, just look to the results of my friends, Yolanta Madsen for example, Linda, she created from my favorite Italian viscos, a fantastic result made by Barbara. Uh, just uh, why fantastic? Because she used few colors, she, she changed colors and she hide a lot of tails, but the result is just absolutely gorgeous and it's really fantastic. Uh, also we have, um, it's uh, something incredible, a result made by Lynn from France. Uh, she made a blouse by using eight elements and uh, she created longer sleeves, uh, she made a different design, uh, but uh, principles are the same. She made first element, next step by step she joined uh, new elements during the last row. And also she created really special edging, she used uh, petals from Flower Talisman, my outer motif, and she created a really interesting and um, gorgeous edging around leaves, yes, and around bottom part of this uh, fantastic tunique. And you can see this results, also this beautiful presentation. You can see how it looks at the front, at the back side. So really uh, something incredible. Thank you, Lynn, one more time for this work. You give us a big inspiration. Thank you so much. So just visit our group and find all this um, information. Also, our, uh, you will find here information. Subscribe to JT House YouTube channel. You will have the link. Just go by this link and uh, you can, I will show you, 
our YouTube channel. You, you can subscribe and you will receive all this information, just new lessons. Also, you will have chance to look to our workshops. We have here a lot of interesting elements. Um, like you can see, these beautiful leaves, flowers, uh, these fantastic elements, also such elements, uh, flower with three petals. So a lot of interesting information you can find here. Just uh, visit our free crochet pattern, patterns group and next our YouTube channel. Uh, so like this, it works. Next, I will show you again my file, PDF file. And about threads, it's also one of very important information because I'm working with uh, my favorite threads uh, almost uh, more than 15 years and I know uh, I like the threads very much. I used uh, only viscos for my crochet projects. Um, I think 99% of my projects are from viscos. And uh, now we have this Italian viscos. Uh, this one is not shiny, it's white, very beautiful white thread, soft and really fantastic for uh, making some uh, crochet projects, blouses, skirts or dresses. Also I made uh, this beautiful uh, tablecloth from this thread. Now about our summer tunic. Okay, so I uh, took, I just take this tunic. Now I have here a wrong side in my work and uh, so we will have uh, interesting uh, neckline in this moment because we have like these two elements at the shoulder seam. This is our neckline at the front side and at the back side uh, these two parts are the same and we have these two elements. They are just, uh, they look, this is the middle line in the middle here, shoulder seam and this is shoulder seam. And I will start from this corner to work. I will start to work at this corner. Uh, so, I need to take my skin that I prepared for this workshop. And I will use another color just to, to show you better everything, how it looks, how to work. So, I will join thread uh, before this picot that we have near the last arch. So, we have here one, two, three arches and this is a corner, so I will join um, near to this last stitch that we have, near to the picot. Okay, so I will join thread, leaf tail around 20 centimeters like always. To have chance, yes, um, just uh, very convenient to work with this tail. I will use needle with big eye to hide this tail. And now uh, when I join the thread, I will make one more chain loop. After three times yarn over, I will make double treble crochet to this corner. To this middle point. Double treble crochet and I will make it slowly. It should be not tight, in my case it's too tight. So we should make everything not too tight. Just we need to start to feel this right size of stitches, right tension of thread. So like this. After one chain loop and again uh, three times yarn over and make again double treble crochet. You will have colored scheme uh, just after this lesson in our free crochet patterns group. So just now I want to show you how to create this edging. And I will see if this all took a lot of time. So today I will show you neckline, tomorrow I will show you uh, armhole lines and after we will have last lesson about bottom line. So I need to make how many stitches? Six double treble crochet to the same point and between them we have one chain loop all the time. So we have six stitches, one, two, three times yarn over the last stitch. Uh, I made it, okay, now one chain loop and join symmetrically to the last stitch before this picot. Symmetrically to this point I mean, okay, by single crochet after. Now we will use a lot of arches from four chain loops. So one, two, three, four chain loops. After around this arch, I will make single crochet just around, around single crochet. Next, one, two, three, four chain loops. Go to the next arch and make around single crochet. Again, one, two, three, four. Around the same arch, one more single crochet like this. Again, one, two, three, four. And now around the next arch, single crochet. 
one two three four and uh, now after this uh, to the second stitch or around between these two stitches it's not matter just you will repeat the same in each area symmetrically at each side you will repeat the same so I made single crochet next four chain loops and now we have at the top of this motif three picots so I will make to this picot one single crochet next the one chain loop to the middle picot we will have two single crochet between them one more time I will make picot can be from four chain loops I think it's okay three four finish to make picot and after make one more single crochet to the same picot next we have one chain loop and to this picot one single crochet symmetrically just everything okay next one two three four chain loops and we repeat symmetrically at this side so we have this all arches here I will repeat them at this side so I will make stitch between these two stitches okay next one two three four chain loops next around this arch I will make one single crochet one two three four chain loops around the next arch single crochet and around this middle arch I will make one more time single crochet so again four chain loops and one more single crochet now again four chain loops and single crochet around this arch after the last arch and just uh, I will insert hook between these two stitches and make single crochet so I have this part ready okay next uh, again uh, we have corner here so we finish it near to this picot yes we have here picot and from here I will make one chain loop and I will make six stitches to the corner so three times yarn over and insert hook to the middle to the corner and make first double treble crochet one chain loop and again double treble crochet okay sorry once again three times yarn over and make the stitch one chain loop and double treble crochet again After I will make all these edgings by using the same color, the same white thread and everything, in my case, everything will be in one color. So we have six stitches, uh, now I made one more chain loop and symmetrically I will go between these two stitches and make single crochet. Uh, now let me look to my graphic, so again I will make arches from four chain loops, okay. So let's work one, two, three, four chain loops. Around the first arch only one single crochet. Next one, two, three, four. Around next arch we will make step by step two single crochets. So one, two, three, four chain loops, one more single crochet. Next one, two, three, four. And around the last one also I will make two times this single crochet, two times arches from four chain loops. Okay, second arch after one two three four and after two stitches I will insert hook just between second and third stitch and make single crochet now okay uh, now I need to take my skin we have the middle part yes and in this middle part uh, we have joining between two elements like this looks like this and I will make now arch from four chain loops one two three four uh, one single crochet to the middle of picot and one double crochet to the middle point just without chain loops one double crochet now just to the middle insert hook to the middle stitch and make double crochet and one more single crochet symmetrically to this motif yes will be this middle part and now four chain loops three four insert hook below 
second and third stitch and make single crochet next one two three four and now we will make arches from 14 loops three four around the same arch one more stitch single crochet three four single crochet and again around this arch one more time I will make single crochet like this one two three four chain loops one single crochet around the last arch and now one two three four and just between this first stitch and second insert hook and make single crochet now again we have uh, symmetrically this will be corner and this is our shoulder seam here so again i will make here this shell from six uh, double treble crochet and at the other side symmetrically also it will be shell here and this is our shoulder seam in this moment so now we have one chain loop three times yarn over and start to make double treble crochet to the corner not too tight one two three and repeat the same We have five stitches. Now the last one. After make one more chain loop and uh, insert hook uh, below first and second stitch of previous row. And now uh, from here we will make again arches from four chain loops. Around the first arch only one single crochet. Around second arch two single crochet step by step between them arches from all the time four chain loops four and make second uh, single crochet around the same arch one two three four and around next arch make also single crochet like this okay so we have this part now last arch one two three four and after one stitch I will make single crochet and again 14 loops uh, this is a shoulder seam to this first picot I will make single crochet next one chain loop and two single crochet to this middle picot between them picot from 14 loop can be from five chain loops and second single crochet to the same point one chain loop and one single crochet to the last picot okay next one two three four chain loops between these two stitches I will make single crochet next one two three four chain loops one single crochet around this arch four chain loops single crochet around next arch one two three four next arch around the same yes arch and one two three four chain loops single crochet around this one and now the last one one two three four chain loops insert hook below these two stitches and between and make single crochet now one more time i will make shell at the corner so i have one chain loop now three times yarn over and make double treble crochet <laughs> I see Linda, Linda Janet hello Linda, nice to see you we are making edging around neckline in our summer tunic Letia just few rows not difficult I'm using another color just to show you better how it looks this whole process of making first row so we need to make six uh, Hyolanta from Linda Hi See you, please write to the chat How are you? What is the weather? I see uh, also Linda It's okay, okay uh, See you, can you write something interesting? <laughs> what are you doing? 
what projects are you making? I saw I saw some uh, toys, very beautiful bear, or also some else toys. I saw very beautiful. So we have this shell at the corner. Next, uh, I will go to this side. Of the shell, we have fortune loops. Again, fortune loops all the time and single crochet between. Around the arch, single crochet. Next, one, two, three, four. And around next arch, single crochet. One, two, three, four. Around the same arch, one more single crochet. One, two, three, four. Next arch, again one single crochet. And one, two, three, four. After two stitches, I will make one single crochet. Next one, two, three, four. Now we have the middle part. Uh, so, and to this picot, I will make one single crochet. Uh, to the middle point next here, only one double crochet without chain loops. And the last one is the a single crochet to the next picot. This is the middle part. After we continue to make uh, arches from four chain loops. So between these two stitches, I will make single crochet now. And one, two, three, four. One single crochet on the arch. I, I think we have here, we should have here two stitches, yes. Uh, two stitches around the, the last arch. So we have one single crochet at the first arch, two single crochet at this middle arch, and also we should have two single crochet here, so it was a mistake. Three, four, one more single crochet like this it should be, and one, two, three, four. After two stitches, one single crochet, one, two, three, four. To the middle of this picot, one single crochet. Okay. One double crochet to the middle point where we have joining between two motifs. And one single crochet to this picot. Now everything is okay. After one, two, three, four. And make single crochet between stitches. Now one, two, three, four. One single crochet around the arch. One, two, three, four, and one stitch more around the same arch. One, two, three, four. Single crochet around the arch. Again, around the same arch, I will make one more single crochet. One, two, three, four. And uh, the last arch. Here we just need to make one single crochet, yes. And next, the last arch from four chain loops and make joining to this beginning. It uh, just can be a slip stitch and like this so i finish it to make first row around neckline and uh, now i will turn my turn my work and move back a little bit i need to move up uh, make uh, just two arches let me see to my graphic so now um, at the corner i will make uh, two arches from 14 loops just move up one, two, three, four. I already have these two arches, so I will use this single crochet and move up. So first single crochet, again, one, two, three, four. And uh, second, yes, joining, uh, using, I'm using here single crochet to the stage of previous row. Uh, now I will turn back my work and continue to go around in the circle, just. Uh, now I will use triple treble crochet it's a stitch with four times yarn over and uh, let me see okay one chain loop first and now one two three four times yarn over i will use for my work all these stitches that we have in this shell so first i will take i will insert hook below this yes to thread to the top of the stitch and make this big stitch like this after one more time the same, four times yarn over, from the same point start to make triple treble crochet, so four times yarn over, big stitch. Now one chain loop and I will repeat the same two stitches to the next stitch of our shell. So four times yarn over, insert hook to the stitch of previous row and step by step make this really big stitch. One, two, three, four times yarn over to the same point, second stitch. Okay, we have it. One chain loop, and like this, I will repeat 
how many four times more one two three four times yarn over and start to make big stitch so I have it once again four times yarn over and start to make triple treble crochet again one chain loop and now I will make two big stitches to the same point I will take new stitch in this shell and make it again four times yarn over and second stitch to the same point one chain loop one two three four times yarn over and again make big stitch second stitch to the same point after second stitch make one chain loop and start again the same four times yarn over to the last stitch of the shell I will make also two stitches triple treble crochet with four times yarn over okay we have it after one chain loop and now the last stitch I will make it to this single crochet one two three four insert hook and make one more big stitch and now I will skip this arch from 14 loops one arch second arch and only to this stitch single crochet I will make joining by single crochet again so we have this joining now continue to make arches from 14 loop one two three four everything is very simple I will use the same single crochet that I have between arches in previous row so just you need to make the same number of chain loops four chain loops and use stitch that we have between arches so like this and again single crochet four chain loops and single crochet four chain loops three four and single crochet now we have this top part the shoulder seam and uh, here I will make switching loops one two three to the middle of this picot just one single crochet and that's all only one single crochet after go to this side and I will make symmetrically the same so start from switching loops and make a tuning to the single crochet next all the time 14 loops and between stitches one single crochet 14 loops and one single crochet 14 loops and one single crochet Fourteen loops and one single crochet. Fourteen loops. Okay, stop. You just need to see that we have shell very close, and you should leave two arches. Don't touch them. So from here we can start to make this uh, big stitches with four times yarn over. And uh, now uh, we need to make. Let me see. So we have arch. We don't. Ah, uh -huh. okay. We need to make just first triple treble crochet to this single crochet that we have here at the same level that we have shell so four times yarn over and insert hook to this single crochet of previous row and make big stitch well, now one chain loop and two stitches I will make to the first stitch of this shell so two three four times yarn over and make the stitch once again the same big stitch to the same point where we have first one stitch after two stitches one chain loop and start to make again two big stitches to one stitch of previous row now second stitch one chain loop and again the same uh, two stitches to the stitch of previous row four times yarn over and make the stitch I see comment hi Linda from Yolanda <laughs> one chain loop and again two stitches with four times yarn over
one chain loop and now uh, the last big stitch I will make to this single crochet of previous row so one two three four insert this point and make last stitch after skip two arches and join to this single crochet by using single crochet next very simple like I told you we should make only uh, all the time the same arches from four chain loops and we need to use the same stitches that we have in previous row four chain loops and one single crochet four chain loops and again one single crochet like this in this edging uh, we will have okay it's the middle part we will have only three rows and that's all now in the middle part what we should do okay everything is very simple so all the time arches from four chain loops and now we have the middle point so here i will make just a very simple step by step three single crochet we have here three stitches the same three stitches i will make three single crochet step by step and this will be middle uh, middle area now again symmetrically all arches from four chain loops and between them single crochet Okay, now I have two arches, I should leave them, we don't touch the last two arches because we need to make uh, big stitches uh, to the shell of previous row. Uh, so how it uh, looks, uh, how it works, without chain loops just start to make big stitch, four times yarn over, insert hook to this single crochet that we have in the beginning of this shell and make first big stitch, after one chain loop and start to make two big stitches triple treble crochet to the stitch of previous row to this shell I will make so first stitch I have next four times yarn over and make second stitch to the same point now one chain loop one two three four and again make two big stitches to the same point one two three four and make big stitch one chain loop and repeat the same okay i have too much thread one two three four only not five and make triple treble crochet two stitches to the same point it's third corner, in total we have four corners so like this now again two big stitches to one stitch of previous row one chain loop and now four times yarn over So the last is ready and now just one stitch to this single crochet of previous row four times yarn over and make stitch after skip two arches one two and make joining by single crochet like this uh, next just uh, we will make few arches from four chain loops four chain loops single crochet it's too loose, we should make it not so loose. Now, one, two, three, four. One single crochet, one, two, three, four. One single crochet, one, two, three, four chain loops. And one single crochet to the stitch of previous row. One, two, three, four, and again, single crochet now the shoulder seam uh, to the picot i will make one single crochet and now we have switching loops one single crochet and symmetrically switching loops and make joining by single crochet and now just um, 
At this side, again, we should uh, make the same arches from 14 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and make single crochet and now you should leave uh, two arches uh, don't tie them and make the last uh, stitches to the shell this is the last corner so first I will make one big stitch to the single crochet that we have near to the shell and this will be beginning next one chain loop and uh, two stitches to one point one stitch of previous row without chain loops just two stitches to one point one chain loop and now again two stitches to the next stitch of previous row Okay, I have some nuances with thread, one second. Okay, now it's okay. So we need to make one more stitch, one, two, three, four times yarn over and make triple treble crochet to the same point. Just a few stitches more and I will finish this area. I hope you are not slipping at this side <laughs> of your screen. Three, four. Because this is the last stitches of second row, and soon we will start last row. I hope you will watch this workshop to the end. Now I see that we will have today only neckline because it took a lot of time to make it <laughs> live. Not so, so fast, fast. <laughs> I see Linda comments. Thank you. You are not sleeping, Linda. I know that you are not sleeping. <laughs> Don't know um, about uh, else, <laughs> friends. <laughs> okay, and now the last stage: one chain loop and four times yarn over and make the last. Stitch, skip two arches and make single crochet okay now the last distance just by using uh, it's the middle part so by using just arches and we will finish this second row so one two three four all the time just arches let let's make it fa fast and in the middle uh, like we have at the other side just three single crochet and that's all so we need to finish it and start the last row round. You should make uh, this edging a little bit tight, I think, <laughs> watching you. <laughs> okay, Ona, thank you so much. Uh, really nice to know that someone is watching. It's I am not here alone, <laughs> talking to myself what to do. 14 loops and now the last arches. One, two, three, four. So where I need to finish this row? Let me see. Okay, I need to finish. I need to skip just one arch. I will leave without work. So I leave this last arch. <laughs> yes, all eyes are on you. <laughs> all eyes are on me. Great. <laughs> Linda is watching and Ona is watching. Okay, so nice. <laughs> uh, and now, uh, just the last row, we will start from this point without turning the work. And how to make it? Uh, so we will make like shell. We will have four treble crochet in between them. In the middle, we will have pico from four or five chain loops. So let's start. We have here one chain loop, now two times yarn over. And uh, I will make this all four stitches to one point. To this Yes, we have first two 
big stitches here to this one first one I will make four stitches first stitch one two, two times yarn over second stitch now in the middle we will have pico one two three four chain loops for example you can make five or three if you want and again two treble crochet to the same point one stitch and second one okay I will make more light I think it's not so good okay after this like uh, we will repeat the same shell the same just uh, we will change yes uh, our <laughs> point of journeys in total we will have in this at the top of the shell five times like this so second one I will make around chain loop so I will skip next stitch also this one chain loop I will skip these two stitches and around this arch I will make next two next shell one two so we have two treble crochet pico from four chain loops and again two stitches around the same arch around the same small point so we have two shells like this and the middle one it should be in the middle if we have how many we have one two three yes we have six two stitches uh, six times like this one two three so this is the middle point around uh, this point again four treble crochet and between them pico one two three four And again around the same point two treble crochet now symmetrically uh, so we will make this uh, after these two stitches so symmetrically everything two treble crochet next pico from four chain loops two three four and again two treble crochet one and two okay and now uh, we should make the last one so to this stitch I will make uh, four stitches and between them pico from four chain loops one two pico from four chain loops and two stitches one and two so I finished the work just at the top of this shell and after uh, one chain loop skip one arch from four chain loops that we have in previous row and make joining to the single crochet previous row just make one more single crochet like this from here we will make uh, next uh, we will work around next arch that we have in previous row okay so let me see we need to skip this arch and we will work around next one how it works uh, we need to make uh, without chain loops just treble crochet around this arch first one and second one after treble uh, after pico from four chain loops now again two treble crochet just around the same arch one stitch and second stitch okay next pico from uh, four chain loops again uh, two treble crochet one stitch and second one and pico from four chain loops again uh, two treble crochet around the same arch one and second one and the last pico one two three four chain loops in total you should have here uh, four picots in this area and the last two stitches uh, one treble crochet and second one uh, now skip this arch and to this pick uh, to this single crochet of previous row make one single crochet joining just now we have the shoulder seam this middle point so here I will make two chain loops around arch of previous row one single crochet next to the middle uh, stitch one single crochet pick off from four chain loops and to the same middle stitch one more single crochet this is the middle point now around arch one single crochet and two stitches next to this stitch of previous row single crochet and now symmetrically I will make the same stitches 
around arch we need to skip one arch and work around second one so just start from two treble crochet around the arch after again pico from 14 loops one two three four like this and again like we did before two stitches one pico two stitches one pico you should have four picots in the end of this work and in the end you will have two uh, treble crochets that's all you will finish to make this area so now two stitches and after pico from 14 loops So we have three picots, now this will be the last one, finish to make picot and the last two stitches around the same arch. So everything is very simple here. Uh, now joining just, uh, you need to skip one arch and join to the single crochet that we have in previous row. Okay, we have it. Uh, now uh, again this big shell as we have at the corners, we have like this four times. And uh, we will start from one chain loop, and uh, we start from this stitch. We need to make here shell from four treble crochet in the middle with picot from four chain loops. One, two, three, four, and two stitches more to the same point. And this will be such shell from four stitches and picot without chain loops just uh, skip one two three stitches and around the small arch start to make the same shell so first two treble crochet next pico from 14 loops and two treble crochet again one and second one now the middle one so we will skip these two stitches and around next arch make the same shell from four stitches and one pico from 14 loops one and one more stitch so in total four stitches and now skip two stitches and around small arch make again the same shell from four stitches And uh, the last one, skip three stitches and to the fourth, to the top, make also shell. First, uh, two treble crochet, next, pico from 14 loops, and again two treble crochet. Uh, now uh, we will make one chain loop, skip one arch from 14 loops and joining to the single crochet of previous row like this and after uh, we will work around second arch so first we need to skip one arch from 14 loops and go to the second one start again from two treble crochet like we did before next the pico from 14 loops one two three four and like this repeat you should make four picots and in the end you should have two treble crochet in this way you will finish to make beautiful edging around this small arch so we are making the last row when you are making edging it should be not too loose it's really important and accurate not too tight also but more tight than loosely I think for edging especially around neckline and the last two treble crochet one two skip one arch join to the single crochet by making single crochet and now what we have we have middle point yes yes we should have here a one arch from 14 loops one two three four skip yes this arch we have also from 14 loops join to the single crochet here in the middle now we will make we have here three stitches so first we use for one single crochet in the middle i will make two stitches between them pico from 14 loops 
So one more single crochet to the same point. This is the middle point. And the last one stitch to the third stitch. Next symmetrically four chain loops and one single crochet like this. Okay. And now the same shell, symmetrically the same edging. Skip one arch and around the next one make uh, tra two travel crochet first after pick off from four chain loops after repeat this few times till you will see four picots and finish by two travel crochets this work okay we have two picots now two travel crochet and one more picot And again two treble crochet one and second one and the last picot and the last two treble crochet on the same arch after you should skip one arch in previous row from 14 loops and join to the single crochet and make single crochet like this uh, next from here we can start to make again all this uh, shells uh, around this big shell. So first one chain loop, take a first stitch that we have in this first one and to the top make two treble crochet. One, two, pick off from one, two, three, four chain loops and again two stitches to the same point. I cannot wait to see the result from Lin. Yes, me too. <laughs> I hope it will be nice. I think it will be good. And uh, now I will skip three stitches. I will iron it and show you the result. It's, you know, we have here corners. That's why I made these big stitches at the corners. I don't want to have this um, not rounded shape line. Yes, I want to make it more rounded shape. That's why I have here these really big stitches at the corners. And I try to make this edging a few times and this variant I like it. It looks not so bad. <laughs> now in the middle one shell from uh, four treble crochet. Between in the middle also pico from four chain loops. And in the same style we will have edging around armhole lines and also at the bottom line. I will use the same style. We will repeat these details and details and we will have, um, yes, um, just uh, all this tunic in one style. Edgings will be the same. It's really important for one project to have similar parts. And the last shell, skip three stitches and to the fourth make last shell. Two treble crochet, picot from four chain loops, and two treble crochet again. Now, one chain loop, join, skip one arch, join to the single crochet of previous row, like this, and after. Uh, what we need to move? Oh, okay, we just need to skip one arch and around the next one make two treble crochet first after pick off from four chain loops. And again the same till you will have four picots. So I have three picots, now the last one, and after uh, two treble crochet, the last stitches around the same arch. Uh, next, to the stitch, yes, we skip one arch, go to this single crochet and make one single crochet also. After uh, two chain loops, 
and now around the arch one single crochet to this stage that we have in the middle one single crochet next pick off from 14 loops and one more single crochet to the same point will be like a middle yes point and one more single crochet around the arch at the other side symmetrically okay next one two three fourteen loops skip one arch sorry it's not right <laughs> only two two chain loops and make stitch to the stitch of previous row like this uh, next from here we have again uh, the same yes edging and now so we skip one arch around the second one start to make the same beautiful edging by using treble crochet and picots just repeat once again the same For this work I am using beautiful sapphire looks thread. You can also find this thread in our store. It's a very beautiful purple color and it's really nice soft thread. For such thread you can use crochet hook in size 2 mm or 1.75 mm. I created a lot of dresses from this thread. We have I think around 50 colors in our store so you can try to work with it. Uh, one cone has 100 grams and 500 meters it's really nice high quality yarn also for dresses for skirts and blouses and uh, now the last corner uh, with this big shell and uh, start from one chain loop take this first stitch to this to the top of stitch make four treble crochet between them pico one two three four chain loops so very soon I will finish third row and cut the yarn and I will iron this edging, show you the result, how it looks. I hope you will see better <laughs> this edging because I used another color. So skip now three stitches and make around the small arch, again shell. And tomorrow I will show you, I hope I will have chance to make the lesson, and I want to show you edging around armhole lines. And the top part of the tunic will be ready in this way. After we will have just uh, one more lesson about bottom part. All schemes you will find in free crochet patterns group on Facebook page. We have a lot of beautiful motifs there you can find and take this information for free. Also, we finished one course about making tablecloths. Uh, we have all lessons on YouTube channel. You can take them also for free and just make beautiful tablecloths for your home. And now we have lesson number four about tunique. In total, I want to make two more, so we, have, we will have six lessons about this tunique. And also all lessons you will just see in our, on our YouTube channel, so it's really great. You can see record of workshops, you can make everything very easily. And I really enjoy to make this project live with you, and I really wait for your results. I already have, uh, yes, tablecloths made by Elanta, and I have tunique made by Lynn, and she's making second one in another color, will be surprise. One more chain loop now, skip one arch and join by single crochet. Um, I see no new comment. I love it so far from Linda, thank you so much. A beautiful work from Mary, Maria, Maria, I think it's right. The, I read right the name. And uh, now the last part, very small. Uh, what we need to do. So this will be the middle, yes, yes. Uh, we should start, we skip one arch and to the next one start to make this beautiful edging with treble crochet and picots from 14 loops. One, two, three, four. Again, two treble crochet, one and two. One, two, three, fourteen loops. And again, two treble crochet.
So we have three picots, now the last one, and the last two treble crochet. One and second one. Skip one arch, join to the next stitch by using single crochet. Uh, now at the middle, uh, one arch from 40 loops, skip one arch. Now we have middle stitches, three stitches. So to one stitch I will make single crochet, to the middle one, two stitches between them, pico from 14 loops. And at the last stitch, just one more single crochet. And this will be edging at the middle point. Uh, now arch from 14 loops. And now the last uh, part we need to make. The last step. Beautiful shell, just using by using uh, treble crochet and picots, I will finish to make the third row and I will cut the yarn. Okay, we have two picots. Uh, now I will start to make third picot. And the last picot from 14 loops. And two stitches treble crochet. And join, skip one arch, make joining just by slip stitch. One more chain, and I will cut the yarn leaf tail around uh, 20 centimeters. And that's all. Okay, so it's really good. I finished to make this edging, and uh, now I will show you how it looks. So we received, uh, it will be bigger, just I need to iron it now. So we have in the middle like this, and this is the back side, so for me this one will be front side. And everything will be in, everything will be in one. Everything will be in this one level. So now I just need to iron it. And uh, we received such neckline. And uh, this will be in one color everything. So we will have like a rounded shape line. And a lot of picots, uh, they will look great at the body. So we will have beautiful picots everywhere and now I will iron it and show you how it looks when we have everything straight and I iron it this result uh, so it looks like this you know it will be in white color in my case so we, we will not see such corners but uh, this edging looks really great at the neckline uh, very close to the face so I uh, really try to make it and I know that it looks really great. I hope you will enjoy to make it. So we have such edging. Okay. So it looks like this. Uh, great, so uh, we had, I see, I see a comment, thanks uh, Julia for the tutorial today, thank you so much Linda for all your comments, was really great, uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, just once again, uh, don't forget that tomorrow I will try to make new lesson about edgings around this armhole lines and today we had lesson about this neckline and also about uh, just few words threads, uh, this all project was made uh, from Italian Viscos, you can see transition of colors, blouse Sonia, uh, that we will have at the second uh, journal. And such uh, beautiful projects, very soft and silky, you can create from Italian Viscos. And also my last uh, dress, uh, my dress that I made for vacations, it was Martinica, yes, from beautiful fringe at the bottom part. Everything was made uh, from Italian Viscos, it's really soft and beautiful. Especially this thread, it's nice for very hot weather. Um, it's a very nice feeling to the body, uh, very soft thread, and it's really not hot when you are wearing such blouses and dresses. So, tasted by, in practice by uh, JT House, by me, a lot of projects. 
So uh, it's really a nice variant to, to choose for your crochet projects. Thank you so much. Uh, nice, I see comment from Yolanda. Thank you so much. Uh, so just uh, thank you for your attention today. A really long lesson. And see you very soon. We will have the lesson number five about Nick. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.